Yeah, well, it's taken us two years to put this project together. It's cost £180,000, and uh, it's all been funded by uh, Bowie fans all over the world uh, and other contributors. Uh, and we had this fantastic unveiling on Sunday, which was a huge success. Thousands of people in the market square. Um, and then just uh, 35 hours later, unfortunately, we had this incident, uh, which we have on CCTV, of an individual defacing the statue, which is really disappointing, to be honest. And, um, I mean, it, ha it was defaced by a sort of graffiti and, um, you know, they sprayed uh, the message sort of feed the homeless. And uh, so, obviously, that's disappointing that that happened. And, you know, the, the motivation behind it, I mean, maybe slightly uneducated because it, that, maybe that person thinks that, that this is a, something that was funded by the local authority, maybe, or, or but that's not the case. It was all crowdfunded. Absolutely. This is the uh, this is what I don't understand about it. You know, I mean, I do quite a lot for the homeless uh, people in the area, and um, you know, we have no connection with that. You know, it's in privately funded by Bowie fans. There's no public money involved at all. So, you know, I don't really know why they targeted the Bowie statue, which is an absolutely fantastic work of art. Um, it's being restored today, and we hope it will be back to its pristine condition tonight. Um, I mean, the photographs have been everywhere around the world of the statue, but you really have to come and see it in Aylesbury to really appreciate it. I mean, photographs don't do it justice. And um, we, um, the, the, the CCTV is pretty clear in the in this sense of, you know, you can see the act being carried out. The individual has sort of their, their, their face covered, so you can't necessarily identify them. But, I mean, you're, obviously you're appealing and you're, I'm assuming, liaising with the police to try and catch the person responsible. Yes, we are working closely with the police and uh, we, we do have some information at the moment. We'll find out whether that, uh, that comes to anything. Understood, OK. Um, so, or, or, in it, so to confirm then, you think there's no lasting damage to the statue and um, it's, 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 been, it's been cleared up and restored? Yeah, it's obviously going to cost a lot of money to restore it again, but um, uh, we think it, you know, it'll be back to its pristine condition you know, later today or tomorrow. And uh, I can only say to people, please come and see it because it is a magnificent statue. And Aylesbury has such a huge connection with, with Bowie because, you know, he premiered Hunky Dory here. He premiered Ziggy Stardust here. Uh, we're, the Market Square is mentioned in five years, the first song on the... Uh, on the Ziggy Stardust album. Uh, I was actually in the dressing room with him when he formed the, Spard the Spiders from Mars in 1971. So there's a fantastic connection with Aylesbury.